So, hello folks. It's nice to be here. I'm really excited to share a lot of things to you today. Um, so first, I'm Leticia, I'm from Brazil. Um, I work as a lead software engineer in a mobile platform team at New Bank, and also I am a Microsoft MVP. Um, and today to discover what are the top secrets to achieve and, ex and excellence and have a successful mobile engineer. So basically we have a short time. So my mission today, uh, it is to plant uh, new thoughts about the importance of a platform team to your company uh, when we talk about the mobile at scale. Uh, if anyone here have some trouble with my audio, please send on the, the chat, chat because I will pay attention uh, the message that you are sending uh, here, but I hope uh, that you enjoy uh, the conversation today. So, all right. So first, uh, we have someone here that already heard about New Bank. Uh, please send on the chat if uh, our maybe have account with us. Uh, but for those that uh, that uh, about New Bank, uh, it is one of the world's uh, largest digital banking platform. We serve over than um, 70 uh, million customers across the Latin America, such as Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia. So if we have here uh, some Brazilian, Mexican, and, and Colombian, please uh, say hi to me. Uh, so yeah, and we are, um, and we, it is on your blood um, to fight the complexity and empower people with their providing access to financial uh, services to ours are even making uh, good stuff to scale the engineering uh, the engineering teams to be more uh, productive and efficient and like in our context it is so important like when we are saying that we uh, try to fight the complexity and also empower people uh, it is so important in our context because we born as a mobile first company so since the beginning uh, we built our project products focusing to keep a close relationship with the the customers so yeah considering the number of the customers operating uh, in other countries you can uh, start to imagine how is the size of the responsibility that we have to guarantee uh, the efficient and the reliability uh, of our business and our engineers and the challenge um, not stop there like we have a lot of when we talk about the engineer itself so uh, today we have almost 2000 engineers working uh, in different areas at the new bank such as uh, back end front end data and also uh, mobile so considering this 2000 we have six uh, uh, 686 engineers working directly uh, with the app over time so um, both iOS and Android, and they provide about 133 uh, per request, uh, and also release uh, more than 50 internal release re weekly. So we have a lot of things happening when you take a look on the engineering. Um, yeah, and it's, it's not stopped there. We have a lot of important things for our conversation today. So. Yeah, we have a bunch of customers, countries, engineers, pull requests, releases that like started to be a little bit crazy about how we can uh, deal and, and continue to be efficient. But also uh, this beautiful code base, like we have a, a bunch of uh, different languages, as you can see, uh, because the app exists many, uh, many years ago. So uh, we are adding some, some new stuff. Um, but the main idea here, here to, uh, to resume the, the thing, it is that today we have the, the we are using the monorepo uh, strategy and, and we need to, do, to deal with the, this bunch of language in our app. So yeah, it's, it's a, a hard job uh, for the mobile platform team. So, yeah, so sharing this data about um, 
the number of the engineers, the, the influx of, of, of contributions, um, we start to think that uh, as the mobile team grows in size, uh, also the product and the code base grows in scope and complexity, and the non-product issues become a recurring pen um, on the engineer's life. So uh, think uh, how hard can be if the product team needs to deal uh, with all this um, infra, uh, the CICD, um, this low level thing, um, and it's still like shipping new features for the, the product. So that is the moment that the mobile platform team appears and shine. So uh, I think the main idea here about the mobile platform team is to um, everything that involves the, the app that is not the product itself, such as infra, low level components, developer experience, and a bunch of other stuff that we uh, see now. And yeah, and allowing uh, the rest of the organization to focus and ship uh, features to the customers in a quickly, consistently, and reliable way. So yeah, let's see how the amazing things you can have and how the secrets that we can uh, uh, learn here today about the mobile platform team. So first, um, I want to share here um, um, some things that can be helpful if you're starting to think um, about having a mobile platform team, uh, if your company, your product, it's uh, growing like in scale, um, and how maybe how we can uh, deal with this, this, this challenge, like at New Bank, how we are dealing with some of the challenges that you have uh, having a mobile at scale. So first, uh, we have the developer experience and tooling. So as an engineer, uh, we get like, of course, and I am sure uh, that all of, of you already um, passed uh, about something like that. So uh, we get used to things that that normally not should uh, work in, in some way, but it's working and you are just like, all right, it's not working in the best way, but I uh, live this and, and it's still my work. So we have such like that hurts a little bit, uh, but you can just ignore. Uh, but like in the day or end of the month, you can uh, you can be that uh, because like you you dead with the thousand paper cuts that you you have on your uh, experience as an engineer working with mobile. So um like we have a, a bunch of examples if your code base it is uh, have a hundreds of thousands of, or even millions uh of code lines it is hard hard to um like to maintain and if you need to you are in a product team and you need to work in a different code base it is uh can be a really hard or even build the app or something like that so um, when you are thinking about developer experience and tooling, it's something uh, that the mobile platform team can be helpful, um, like building capabilities to enable the engineers to be more efficient. And thinking about it, I bring here some examples that things uh, we are at New Bank. Um, so first, uh, we have the engineering setup. Uh, so. Oh, my chat stopped to work. I don't see any. But, all right. So um, first, we have the engineering setup. Um, and I can imagine that uh, any of you uh, already experienced, uh, like, joining in some company and needs to guess how is the necessary, like, how, how is the requirements that you need to uh, be able to to run, to work in some project inside of the company. So um, think about it at New Bank in the first week uh, of the, the onboarding, like when the person I uh, started at the company, uh, they can set up their machines in just one hour, uh, executing some steps like, um, like automated steps. So they don't need it to be concerned 
what is the right versions of the SDKs, the frameworks, the IDs, the simulators, the emulators. They, they just need like, oh, I'll just follow the steps and I will have uh, my environment uh, prepared to work with uh, backend and also mobile and different operational systems. So if you want to work with macOS or Linux, you can easily uh, set up your machine. So uh, it is awesome because we can um, save a bunch of hours of the engineers just having uh, this kind of automation using Ansible, for example. Also looking for the developer experience itself, uh, we have an no command line interface uh, that is the main tool to help uh, the engineers who works in the app. So uh, basically we try to abstract all the complexity uh, that the mobile engineers can have into some uh, commands. So for example, uh, we have here, I, I brought here some examples, but I, I want to focus on the doctor. If I already work with Flutter or some, or some frameworks uh, front end, you probably uh, saw some, some uh, the doctor command. So basically, uh, if you need to check if your programs, if your versions uh, that they needed to run the app are all good, it's uh, configured the right, you can just run the, the, the command and see, uh, fix something, and, and the command uh, show you what is the, the steps to fix. Like, oh, if I am a, a, in a higher version of Cocoa Pods, for example, uh, we having the, down, the command for the downgrade for, for fix the, the issue. Or, or the other example, we have the depths get. So um, if you like, in the beginning I show you that we have a bunch of uh, frameworks and, and, and stacks on our monorepo. So imagine how hard can be uh, people trying to, to build and run the app locally, like trying to, to learn all the bunch of stuff that you needed to to have to <coughs> sorry uh to execute so basically <coughs> sorry guys so basically they can easily um run the the command oh it's a hard one so yeah, they can, can run the, the command and easily uh, build the run the app um, in a quickly quickly way without um, without knowing like the steps that uh, they needed to run. And you can easily um, provide a caching strategy and things like that to make uh, the build faster. Um, yeah, so we have the second point here. So. Uh, the mobile infrastructure, clean. Uh, I think it is the, the 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 most common problem that appears when we are grow, grow as a mobile engineering. So um, it's become harder to to build the iOS, the Android, like the iOS and the in the Android itself, like spend a lot of time to build. Uh, but also when we have an app with hundreds of thousands, millions of code lines. It is, it is harder uh, to maintain the build and the merge time um, good for the, the engineer's experience. So um, in our example, like it takes uh, 30, 30 minutes to run, run completely and we have, I don't know, 10 PRs uh, per hour, it can be harder to uh, maintain the main branch and also, um, and also keep the, the the merge time low um, with all this kind of stuff. So um, the mobile infrastructure can require a lot of effort uh, to bring performance and also uh, manage the, the platform that you are using for the CI/CD. So uh, here at New Bank, for example, um, we are using the Jenkins for our pipelines, but also uh, we want we like to say that we have smart and dynamic pipelines. So uh, first, when I, what I mean uh, when I say that we have smart pipelines, basically when you open a pull request, um, we have a bunch are using monorepo, so we have a bunch of technology. So 
the pipeline will identify what are um, the changes uh, that you made and run only the related jobs and tasks. So, um, for example, if this first that we have on the right side, um, if I open a PR that just changed the Flutter, iOS, and the Android, and don't touch anything about the React Native, uh, don't make sense to run like the fetch the dependencies, uh, run the links, the tests, build the 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 things that we have related to the the React Native. So um, the pipeline can identify what is the changes. So oh, if I just change the Flutter, I will just run the chat to to this um, stack. So we can uh, decrease the time of the the PR checks feedback for the the engineers that works with the mobile the mobile app also uh, when i say that our pipelines are dynamic um, for example if you are opening a pull request changing a package in flutter um, we can consider a package such as um, a feature on the app uh, but basically like imagine that you are changing a package in flutter uh, the pipeline will run the tests uh, for just uh, the package that you like modify it, and also the dependence of the of this package. Package. So basically, we like uh, take a look on the the dependencies tree and and see what is the dependence of the package. And instead of uh, running like hundreds of thousands of tests that we have on the monorepo, we can just run the specifically and the affected uh, tests. Uh, of the of that uh, per request, so it's awesome because uh, we can decrease a lot of time doing this, and people get a faster feedback and and can understand uh, easily what is the the problem if the the pipeline like fail for some reason. Um, also, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, we need to deal with the influx of contributors. So. Given the number of the pull requests in the same repo, uh, we have uh, we count with the help of BORS. BORS is basically an open source uh, bot that help us to never break uh, the main branch, and we can integrate um, the pull requests without much effort. So <laughs> basically, when uh, the engineers open a pull request, uh, they can easily uh, trigger the BORS. And what is the things that bars you do in the backstage? So, um, like we have a lot of pull requests happening at the same time. So, uh, bars you put all these pull requests in this in, in a batch and get all the co the code uh, related to this pull request and put them in an intermediated branch. So all the checks will is in this intermediated branch. And if it is all good, the PRs will be merged. If anything like goes wrong, the pipeline fail, uh, bars will uh, have the bisect strategy. So basically, uh, bars will cut in two parts the batch and try again uh, the the runs. So it is amazing because like if we have 10 PRs in the same time, you don't need to wait for each one. Uh, executing, we can just um, we can just like have all of it, all of them uh, executing at the same time, and it is awesome because we decrease a lot of uh, time into this. Like uh, GitHub have the a similar strategy, GitLab also. So uh, it's not something uh, specifically about boards. We have other options too. Um, yeah, and about release management. So. Is a good topic. We can spend a lot of all the time talking about release uh, management, release trends. So, yeah, if you are already uh, uh, working with mobile, you are accepting the challenge of the of release the app. Like we need to deal with if the assigning of the bio certificate, submit the review, like way way the stores uh, approve the app, and with lucky the users will update the like your latest version. So um, if you consider all these uh, complex things that the mobile have for itself 
and we don't have any defined or mature release process concerns like the product team like a nightmare so uh, we need to guarantee as a mobile platform team can be uh, like or orchestrating the release uh, in some way having defined process or some automation uh, it will help to ship features uh, faster and with less less friction and product teams will love you so yeah here we are using the release train strategy basically um, we have um, um, weekly uh, releases so every week we uh, make available one version of iOS and Android. So on, I will not go in deep uh, in the, the schedule, but basically uh, on Wednesday we start. Uh, we have the release candidate. So we we like to say that the trains depart. So uh, the trains depart. So all the product teams need to have all the features that they want for the for that week uh, merged. So goes to the the alpha station that basically it is for uh, the employees of the company and then we proceed uh, with the early customers that wants to receive the versions earlier um, and then uh, if everything it is okay we proceed with the the rollout uh, with one percent two percent five percent and then one hundred percent so all of, all of this process um, it is automated like we have um, no human intervention. Uh, it is a, a good accomplish that we had here at the mobile platform because uh, people can have um, a good uh, view about the, the state of the release train of the week. We have some um, message that can helpful for them. Uh, also, we have the app core and architecture. So it is important we have a lot of different teams working um, uh, low level components such as logging analytics data persistence HTTP integrations and this bunch of stuff that is the foundation of the app uh, we need to avoid the trend of reinventing the wheel and and try to get this broader vision about the application so um, here we have the feature creation for example so when you start a new feature on the app, you can easily run a command um, that uh, you can easily know about the layers that you can start and adapt if necessary, and also have some documentation about it. Um, and it's great because you have no idea about how can you can start. You can easily uh, use this um, starter pack. Um, and also, yeah, it's not about uh, it's not just about automation. It is important to have documentation interactions. I will not go deep into this, but basically have um, some approach like architecture decision record, a request for comments, uh, having uh, internal um, meetings with the product teams. It is important to maintain this connection, this, um, this contact with the product teams and make sure that all of them um, know about the decisions that we made uh, in the low level uh, vision of the, the application. And the last but not least, uh, we have the app performance and reliability. So um, it is important for us um, to have um, a better understanding about the behaviors of our customers and our users, but also uh, dealing faster with the crashes that are happening on the app. So it is important, like making data-driven decisions when we, we are looking for the app performance and reliability. And yeah, like you can do this, uh, have management tooling that we have here today. We are using past Firebase Specialities. We are studying the same tree. Uh, and we, ha we have Oxygeny to help us with the on-call person. So it is awesome because we, we know uh, like if some crash happening, we can easily know um, what is the severity, uh, like how many uh, customers it's being packed, impacted, and we can uh, deal and act uh, with all this bunch of stuff. Um, and of course, the app help, um, 
uh, metrics. It is important to understand the behaviors of your features and having real-time data and also analytics data. And yeah, we can talk more later after the talk because I, I am on the time. Um, all right, so uh, my main point here, doing a, a recap, like with a mobile platform team, we can have, uh, of course, automation. We can automate a bunch and make the engineer's life uh, easier. We bring efficiency. So we can make people move faster, fail fast, and fix uh, faster too. Uh, also, uh, another important thing, the self-service. Uh, we are a mobile platform team. We are not, a, DevOps is it's not a role. Like we are need to evangelize and empower people to have enough um, background to like with documentation, metrics, platform too, to be able to then make their own decisions. And finish, we need to have expertise in our team. So uh, it is important as a mobile platform team um, having different skills. Like we started, uh, I, I've been at New Bank three years. So we started like in, with three engineers um, solving just CICD problems. And now we have more than 20 people uh, working different roles uh, as an engineer. And also we have product managers, business architects, analytics engineers. So we have a lot of people taking care of our mobile um, environment. So yeah, it's awesome. And I hope you um, that you, if you're already uh, thinking about having mobile platform team in your company, um, you can start at uh, this hurt more and then uh, evolving with the other possibilities. So yeah, thank you, thank you folks for being here. Uh, I don't know if I have time to answer the questions, uh, but I will try, like if I'm not going in the video, I can uh, uh, enter on the chat, but it's amazing uh, be, a, be here with you. Uh, feel free to follow. Um, yeah, it's covered now that, that you don't have time. So yeah, you can reach me on the social medias also. So thank you folks for everything.